sometimes a great Twitter is all a game needs for it to be noticed. Before this new gameplay Twitter was released to the public, I didn't really care about this project because its past reveal videos just weren't appealing nor did it show what the game is all about. I was really on the line on whether to cover it or not because I still found some things in it really interesting, so it kinda bothered me and I didn't think you guys would like it that I would cover this game. But man, I don't know what just happened but this game's new gameplay reveal is literally everything that I've wanted to see in a showcase, the perfect introduction video for newcomers and now here we are covering this promising upcoming game. So bravo to the team working on it, it's not the best looking game ever, nor is it a game that will change anything in the gaming world, but it certainly has some interesting features that I think makes it definitely worth covering on the channel. This is Outpost Infinity Siege, and thanks to the new details we've just received, this project looks like a mix of plenty of FPS games like Titanfall, Halo and such, and RTS games blended together, and as you explore an open world, gather many different resources, and build your very own base in single player or co-op to defend yourself against a massive upcoming invasion that will destroy everything in its path. This game doesn't mess around with the action and also doesn't take itself too seriously and this is what is really cool about it. It's simply a game to have fun with on your free time and they count on exactly that for people to be interested. I am interested so let's get into the details. This game doesn't just start with you creating your base to defend against the upcoming invasion and that's it, you have to start from scratch in a world infested with enemies. You'll have to explore the world which has unique locations and zones that are said to be full of hazards and opportunities. Gather the resources needed to build the many different things of your outpost, like walls, buildings, turrets and so on, and also our rest powerful outpost units. So you have to go out there in the world and find the defenses needed for your base yourself. And if you don't find everything you need, well you'll simply have to survive with what you have. You can also merge and upgrade outpost units to build your own outpost which is pretty great too. As is said, the game offers both single player for lone wolves and co-op for those who would like more of a challenge, and I'm super glad they were able to include co-op in this. It's said in the game's description that you'll be able to fight alongside friends on harvest days, which is the mod I think, or strive together to survive infinite waves of monsters in endless mode till the last moment with your outpost built by you and your friends. The RTS feature for the base building and defenses is such a great addition. Let me know what you guys think and like this video right now for more on new games like this and subscribe. <laughs>